kids, do you love sunflowers? I do too! Let's draw one! Yes! Start with the eyes and little oval shapes for rosy cheeks, half circle for a mouth, a big circle for the head and of course let's not forget the petals! These are gorgeous teardrop shapes and we're layering them! And a stem and some leaves! Darken around the border like a zigzag! And the leaves and stem as well! Ready to paint! Okay, we're going for yellow of course because it's a sunflower! Let's do every other petal! We can do a different shade in between! Perfect! Going for the slightly darker yellow here, almost a golden colour! That looks really cool! Yay! Now the face! Let's go for brown! Going around the eyes, around the cheeks and the mouth, almost there! Done! Let's go for a pink rosy cheeks and mouth, and a green stem and leaves! Brilliant! There you go! That was easy, wasn't it? Well done! You made a sunflower! And it is beautiful! Today we're going to draw and paint a rose, a beautiful flower, starting with the stem and the leaves, drawing the veins on the leaves. We're doing several leaves and then we start with the petals, nice curvy petals, one by one, at the top and the side, making our way to the middle and then a little fold in the centre. And let's not forget the thorns, yes, roses have thorns! Right, let's go for a red rose! Of course, roses can be all different colours! Have you ever seen a rainbow rose? Oh, they're so beautiful! But red roses are probably the most popular and famous all around the world! Why? Because they are a symbol of love! Yes, you can give roses to your loved ones! Just mind the thorns! Green leaves, of course, and stem. And if you like, you can draw your favourite flower. You can find a picture on the computer or in a book and perhaps try to copy the shape. And a rose is so easy to make. And there you have it, a gorgeous red rose. You did it perfectly. Well done. Hey kids, would you like to learn how to draw flowers? It is super easy and you can do it all different ways. Look, let's show you. First of all, you draw your centre, which is just a little circle, and then some nice oval shapes to form your petals. And there you go. That was easy, wasn't it? Let's try a different one. This time we're going to do a little cut in the middle of each petal and they're a bit wider than the last one. There. Now for this flower, we're going to make the petals look like heart shapes. Perfect! This one has long, thin petals, just like a daisy. And we're doing a second layer as well. These petals are shorter and wider, with a lovely detail around the centre. So you can experiment with these different shaped flowers. Use your imagination and think how many different types you could draw. This one has more pointy leaves and two layers. Do you know how many different types of flowers have been found in the world so far? About 400,000! Can you believe that? All of them are different. So have fun with this, be creative and experiment with different sized and shaped petals. OK, I think we're ready to paint. Ooh, let's start with this one. Purple for the centre. Some lovely yellow petals. I have to say, this is one of my favourite colour combinations. Purple and yellow. Absolutely gorgeous, don't you think? Maybe you could name your flowers. Make up your own names. Do you know what the 10 most popular flowers are? 
Let's tell you, we've got the rose. You all know roses, don't you? They come in all different colours, but most famous rose is a red rose. And we're going to paint this flower's petals red. Lovely. And we'll mix it up with a different colour in between because that will look very interesting. After roses, the most popular flower is the tulip. They also come in all different colours and they're absolutely gorgeous. Then you've got the sunflower, of course. Have you ever tried to grow a sunflower from a seed? I recommend it. They're amazing. And they're yellow, just like these petals. Also very popular and a wonderful sign of the first beginnings of spring is the daffodil. I'm sure you've seen those around. They are gorgeous and they really cheer people up after a hard, cold winter. Then we've got the marigold. Again, they can come in you know, slightly different shades. And here we're doing a lovely red one with a yellow centre. You can also do different shades of the same colour. It looks beautiful. Daisies, of course, are very popular. Have you ever tried to make a daisy chain? A necklace or a bracelet or even an anklet out of daisies, making a little hole in the end of the stem and then just joining them up together to form a band. It's so much fun. The orchid is one of the most beautiful flowers ever that we love to put them in our windows on display. Carnations are also very popular. Gerberas, which come in all different colours, just like this one. And jasmine. Jasmine has the most gorgeous smell. Let's go for yellow for the centre of this one and some purple on the outside. So it's like a backwards version of our first flower, which was yellow petals and purple inside. Let's carefully paint around our detail. There! Lovely. Hmm, let's do this one yellow in the middle. We've got a big centre point in this one and some pink around that. What colour do you think we should do our second layer of petals? Should we do it the same or a different colour? Yay, blue! What a great choice! Blue and pink go really well together, don't you think? That's looking lovely! OK, let's do the next one. So we're going to go for gold in the middle. And green around the outside. Beautiful. It's like a little sun shining in the centre of a green field. Almost there. And we're done. Excellent. Last but not least, let's do our long petalled flower. Green in the middle this time and pink petals. This one does look a bit like a daisy, doesn't it? It's just a different colour. Imagine if we had pink daisies, wouldn't that be wonderful? Flowers are just amazing and you can have loads of fun with this designing your own, even making up your own names. There you go. Now let's see them close up. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. Let's see another. Oh, look at that. Those colours are just wonderful. Oh, I'm feeling like summer is here already with all these gorgeous flowers. Flowers really brighten up your day, don't you think? So if you haven't already done so, I recommend you get some seeds and plant them in your garden if you have a garden. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. You can just plant them in some lovely pots. Do be sure to keep them in the sunshine and make sure you water them daily as well because flowers need sunshine and water to grow. You'll be so excited when you see those little green leaves sprouting up from the mud. Which one is your favourite? Oh, it's so difficult to decide. I just love them all. Well done. You did a fantastic job drawing and painting these gorgeous glitter flowers. Hey, today we're going to draw a flower. Make it pink. Beautiful. Would you like to try? Get your crayons and pens ready. Time to draw the middle. The centre is a circle. Then some oval petals around the edge. We just curve around, curve around, curve around. 
Let's do a smiley face. Some circles for the eyes. A smile. Some little circles in the centre of the eyes for the pupils. And of course, a stem. Let's shade and darken that border. Lovely. Let's use yellow for the centre of our flower. We're using paint, but you can use crayons, colouring pencils, pens, anything you like. You know there are different types of paint you can use as well, depending on what material you're painting on. Are you painting on paper? Are you painting on card? Maybe canvas? A lovely sunny yellow with a thin paintbrush because we've got to go around all of those borders. We don't want to go over the black lines, we want to stay inside them. Carefully going around the mouth and the eyes and staying within the big circle centre. You're doing well, keep going. Do you like flowers? Which type of flower is your favourite? I love sunflowers, they're so bright and I love how they lift their head up to the sun and then put it down to sleep at night. They're so tall too. Isn't it amazing? You're almost done. Right, let's do the pink on the petals. Again carefully going around the border, staying in between the black You can use a slightly thicker paintbrush for this petal because there are no facial features in it to paint around. A good technique is actually to paint inside the borders first. That way you can just paint freely inside of that. That's it, you're doing a great job. Let's do the next one. If you wanted, you could even do a rainbow flower with each petal being a different colour. If you drew smaller petals inside the big petals, you could even layer each petal, each one being a different colour. Wouldn't that be awesome? Look, this little flower is watching me paint. La 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 la. Do, 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 do. Spring is here, folks. Isn't it exciting? Now what kind of place might you see a flower? Let's have a think. Hmm. Do you have a garden? Perhaps in your garden. Maybe in the green grass at the side of the road. How about in a forest? Maybe even in a meadow. We might even see flowers on a mountain. What do you think? That's it, keep painting. You've just got two and a half more petals to go. Brilliant. If you want to darken your colour once you've painted it, you just let the first layer dry and then you can paint over it again, just like we do with nail polish. A flower for you, a flower for me I like it pink, as pink as can be But you can choose any colour that you really like Let's paint our flower every night I love my flower, yes I do I hope that you do too Painting is fun Yay! We've done the petals! Good job, guys! Time for the stock, and it's going to be green, of course! You can even draw and paint some leaves on it if you want to. Maybe the grass below. Flower! You did it! Well done! You drew and painted a flower! 
kids, fancy a spot of gardening this spring? Ooh, it's a great time to plant flowers, don't you think? Let's start by drawing the outline of a spade. Do you know what a spade is? A spade is that small handheld tool that you use to dig. That's right. We're going to draw a lovely pot to put our flower in. And the flower, of course. A couple of leaves, the stem, and of course, the petals. Super easy to do. Round circle in the middle, some lines through the leaves. And then we're going to draw another tool. Can you guess what this one is? Hmm. It looks like something you used to eat with. But it's a bit big to fit in your mouth. <laughs> That's right, it's a gardening fork. We're going to paint that one first a lovely yellow colour. We use a small paintbrush for this, as it's thin areas that we're painting. Next we're going to go for purple, that's for the handle. And green for the bottom part. Now let's go for a pretty pink flower I think. Do you have a favourite type of flower? Maybe a rose, a camellia, Ooh, how about a tulip, a daffodil? Yellow for the middle of the flower. Matches the gardening fork. Then we'll go for green leaves, of course. And the stem too. And a different shade of green for the other half of our leaves. It's nice to use different shades of the same colour sometimes. It looks great. Brilliant. Now we're going to go for a lovely gold for the rim of our plant pot. And then brown to finish it off. That's it. Do you know what shape has four unequal sides like this? A parallelogram. Done. Finally, the spade. We're going for blue this time. I'm really digging that blue, if you know what I mean. And yellow for the handle. Finally, the bottom part can be purple! And we're done! Fantastic! Good job, guys! Now, let's start our gardening, shall we? Ooh, ooh, what shall we plant? Hi, kids! How are you today? Yeehaw! Today, we're gonna draw and paint a cactus. That's right! Now, do you know where cactuses grow? That's right, in the desert. Good job. They're quite spiky, aren't they? There are all different types, but we're going to draw this one. So we've got a flower on her head, a cute face, two arms, and we do some stripes down the face, body and arms. Some spikes, of course. She's smiley. But spiky. Now let's put her in a plant pot because perhaps she could be on somebody's windowsill. There, time to paint. Starting with green, of course. We're going to paint every other stripe in with this green colour. It's quite a bright green, almost minty. Painting around her facial features very carefully. As usual, you can change up the paintbrush if you want to be very careful. Shall we name her? What do you think she should be called? How about Sally? Spiky Sally! Alternating with a different green colour now. This one's more of a lime green. So this is a great technique to use in art where you use different shades of the same colour side by side. Wow, she's looking super cool. Maybe... 
Carrie the cactus. Or do you prefer Sally or Carrie? Maybe you've got your own name suggestion. You can type it in the comments below. One more stripe to go. And she's almost done. Excellent. Great job finishing touches. Now the flower, the yellow in the middle and pink for the petals. Pretty in pink. And if you wanted, you could draw more flowers. And orange for the pot rim and brown for the main pot. Brilliant! Really makes her stand out. There you go. You did an absolutely brilliant job at that. Well done! You have a cactus! Hey kids, fancy a cuppa? Ooh, looks lovely to me. Let's draw. We're going to do a lovely teacup with a heart in the middle. Doing the outside of the cup and the handle and the saucer now. Inside and outside rings. Brilliant. Teapot lid. The main body. Let's do the handle. And the spout. And the bottom. And some heart details in the middle to match our heart on the teacup. Oh, Don't they look just like the teapot and the teacup from Beauty and the Beast? Do you remember? Mrs Potts, the teapot, and Chip, her son, was the teacup. Oh, but Chip had a little chip inside. OK, going for brown for the inside of our teacup. Could be hot chocolate if you'd prefer. Red for the handle and the heart. And yellow for the main part. Lovely. How about pink for the inside of the saucer? Yes, and what colour should we do the outside? How about blue? Oh, that does look lovely, doesn't it? Now for the teapot. Yellow for the lid. Lovely, matches the teacup, you know. And blue, that matches the outside of the saucer. Yes. And how about some pink? Brilliant, I love this matching set. Carefully painting around your love hearts. Almost there. And done. Let's go for yellow for the hearts. Oh, lovely. And green for the spout. Why not? Fantastic. And the handle too. And we're done. There you have it. Go on. Have a cup of tea. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. Hey kids, fancy some milk and cookies? Oh, I do love it at bedtime. Start with a circle for the cookie. And a smiley face. Rosy cheeks. And of course, don't forget the chocolate chips. Or are they raisins or Smarties? What do you want on your cookie? It's all up to you. Little arms and legs. And next to it, a glass of milk. Yummy milk. Good for the bones, you know. Smiley face there too. And some hands and legs. And did you know that cookies and milk are best friends? So they're holding hands. Ah, oh, darkening up the border to make our colours stand out. Ready to paint. OK, let's go for brown for our cookie. Because our cookie is a chocolate cookie. Yummy, yummy. What's your favourite cookie? Do you like chocolate chip? Do you like Nutella cookies? How about vanilla cookies? Have you even tried fudge caramel cookies? Or mint choc chip, even better. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Right, darker brown for our chips and the hands and feet. Lovely, bit of dark chocolate, never did anyone any harm. Same for the glass of milk, hand and feet. Now we're going for peachy cheeks. On to blue to represent our glass. So the outer part is all going to be blue. Carefully going down the sides of our milk. And 
And then we're going for a very pale silver colour, which is almost white, to represent our milk. Carefully going around the facial features, eyes and cheeks. With a small paintbrush, that will do the job. And we're done. Some peachy cheeks there too. And there you have it. Cookies and milk. Oh, yummy, yummy in my tummy. G'day, mate. We're going to make a koala picture today. Yeah, did you know the koalas live in Australia? Let's start with the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Face. And the ears. They're a bit fluffy around the edge. Next we go for the body. And the legs and feet. Where will our koala be? How about sitting in a tree? That's what they do. They live in the trees and sit and eat the leaves. That's right. So we're drawing some leaves on our branch. Darkening up the border. That's it. You can use the same black marker pen going over it a couple of times to make it dark or a thick one. Right, it's time to paint. Starting with blue. Ooh, we love a bit of blue. Outer ears first. And some pink. Yeah, inside. Brilliant. Going back to our blue for the face. I think we'll do most of our koala blue because I love this colour. You can of course do it any colour you like. Koalas are very often grey. Black nose. Lovely. Little bit of silver for the area around the mouth. Red tongue. Pink inside the mouth. Let's go for blue for the rest of the body. Cute little arms hanging onto the tree there. Let's just go for silver on the belly. Back to the blue for the legs. Brilliant. We're almost done with this koala. That's how easy it is. Going for brown for our branch. And green, of course, for the leaves. Gorgeous. And there you have it. Wow, an amazing blue sparkly koala sitting in the tree. Woohoo! Hey kids, how are you today? Ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh. would you like to draw and paint a gorilla? Yay! Start with the head, the ears, a tuft of hair, the inner face like a figure of eight, eyebrows and circle eyes, little nostrils oval shaped and a smiley mouth. Now we're going for the chest and the tummy. And the arms are raised with the hands in the air. Excellent. A bit of symmetry, so they're exactly the same on each side. Some palms ready to paint. Just like that. Starting with sparkly silver for the outer ear and then black inside. And black for the outside of the face. Brilliant. Going for silver on the inside face, going around the eyes carefully. There you go. And the chest and the tummy can be the same colour. How about the palms of the hands too? Fantastic. Back to black. Now we're doing a normal black colour for our gorilla, but you can do your gorilla any colour you like. Why not make it a rainbow gorilla? All different colours. Maybe you could even put a pattern on it, like hearts or stars or stripes. Be as creative as you like. It's your gorilla. We're using sparkly black and silver and grey paint. You can use crayons or pencils or pens. It really is all up to you. And there you have it. Gorilla! Woohoo! Well done. Hey kids, how would you like to draw and paint a cute little bunny? You would? Brilliant! Let's do the ears first. Long oval shapes. Then the head is a circle. Little tuft of hair. Circular eyes with some eyelashes, of course. Three on each side. The patches, the nose, the mouth. Now for the body. Arms, tummy, tail and feet, and the pads underneath. Perfect. Darkening up the border. 
and ready to paint, yay! Going for a lovely pink colour for the inner ear. A cute pink and grey bunny. Ah, grey on the outside. I love these two colours together, they look awesome. Now a light grey or silver. The centre of the face there, carefully going around the little nose and the mouth. That's it. Going for the dark grey again. On either side, going around the eyes. Gorgeous! That's it, and done! Now pink for the tongue. And a little brown nose. Back to the light grey silver colour. We're going to do the body with the arms. Either side, leaving out the middle of the paws and the tummy. Then we're going back to pink for the tummy to match the inner ears. I love this baby pink colour, don't you? And the bottom of the feet the same. Dark grey. And the tail. And we are done! There you go! How super easy was that? And how super cute! I would love to have a bunny, wouldn't you? Hey kids! Would you like to draw and paint a baby stroller? Oh, that would be so cute! Okay, we are doing the bottom part and we've got two wheels, so that's a big circle, a smaller one inside it, an even smaller one in the middle, and then the spokes. Two of those. So we're doing the same again. Perfect, well done! Then we're going to do the hood with a little bit of a frill on the edge. Some detail and the handle and a heart. How about the baby's hands reaching out for a hug? Blackening up the border. It really makes our colour stand out once we paint it. Right, ready to paint. Let's go for pale pink for the baby's hands. Kind of peachy pink. Oh, okay, green for the frills. Let's do every other segment green and pink in between. Wow, that is vibrant, don't you think? You can do yours any colour you like, of course. I'm going for blue next for the rim of the pram. And some brown for the handle. How about a dark brown on the end? Brilliant. And yellow for the main part, painting around my love heart. I love the colours yellow and blue next to each other. They look really cool. That's it. OK, red for my love heart, of course. But you can be as creative as you like. Going for dark brown for the tyres. And yellow in the middle. How about purple in between every other spoke? And let's go for green next to the purple. That is cool and it matches the hood. Yes, same again on the other wheel, so dark brown on the outside. Yellow in the middle and then purple and green alternating. Wow, that looks so cool. Baby stroller, baby stroller, where are you? Here I am, here I am, green, purple too. Yay, that looks amazing. Well done, you did a great job. Hey, fishy, how are you today? Ooh, I would love to draw and paint you. Starting with the outline of the body, kind of an egg shape on its side. Circle for the eyes and mouth, a semicircle, and we're going to do the top fin and the tail, the bottom fin, and now for the scales, which are kind of overlapping semicircles. You see, they're really easy to do. Excellent! Now we're ready to paint. Let's go for yellow for the face. Gorgeous! And the great thing about this is you can do all your favourite colours. You could even get a picture of a fish and copy its colours. A pink mouth and purple now. We're going to do purple up here. Great. And here. And here. Now going for red for our first layer of scales. 
We're doing a rainbow fish, all different colours. Let's go for yellow next. Lovely, to match the face. Wow, that looks great against the purple, don't you think? Small strokes. There. Blue next. Gorgeous, my favourite colour. What's your favourite colour? You can do it all the same colour if you like, but we like rainbow fishies. Going for gold next. Ooh, lovely. And now, green. Yes. Finally, pink for the tail. Bigger strokes this time. Almost there. You're done. Brilliant. Well done. What a gorgeous glitter fish. Amazing. Subscribe and watch more.